Good morning everyone, it's Rachel here and we are just going to do a quick little starting off a new envelope sort of journal. Um, my videos, I did record a video yesterday but didn't post it so I'll post that one today and this one will go up tomorrow and um, so I thought I'd have a play with some envelopes and um, but I've also got some old envelopes here so I thought I would see if I might attach one of those on the front. Okay, so let's just have a quick look through. Maybe I like the look of that one. It's got its letter in it. Oh, it's a bit wide. Maybe we want a smaller one. This sort of one. That's very fragile. So it'd have to be hinged. Okay. Well, that was a bit whiffy when I opened it. Okay. So that's going to go on the front. So let's see what do we like the best. I don't want them the same size. So that could be my... Oh, no, then I don't want... I could attach it. No. I need to hinge it. So I might have one of these two. Maybe that one. Let's hinge it on there. Um, I'm just trying to think what will... Oh, I, don't, I know. I think I'll use my... Um, I'm in a bit of a mess because I brought, we brought over more boxes and this, you know my little cubby holes where to put things is diminishing and so it's I'm, I'm slower at putting things away now because I've got to be more creative so I have stuff everywhere so I'm going to attach this I'm going to use this um transparent label fochi that I created because it's really sticky and strong rather than washi tape and I'm going to attach this here I don't know if you can see I gotta get used to my setup as well so that's going to go there I'm going to grab my little um, mini bone folder and just crease it and then inside I can put washi tape to hold it. And we might use, oh, what about this stripey? I don't want it to be too wide. Okay, so that's nice and secure. I will just put that over there. Okay, number one. Then we're going to attach maybe this one. I don't want that one. Should have grabbed a different color, I think. I'm gonna glue that one on there. And that will attach there. I'll have to hinge that as well. Okay. So let's grab some glue. I'll bring the glues over closer. Here we go. I've got a glue book. I've organised myself. Just put this, sort of don't want it at the same level as the other one. Wait a minute, I was going to do it the other way. So about there. So probably before I attach this one, I should have attached all of these. So I'll have to do some hinging here as well. Um, Oh, and I meant to have a, a little one in here, so I've done a bit of it. Just a sec.
I'm having trouble having trouble finding things. I've got a glassine one here. What about this one? Someone sent me that. They made it. I can always trim it down if it's too big. I want to attach that one. What about if I attach it to that? I'm really complicating my life here. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. That would be like that. Just a bit of fun, really. I need to attach it here, actually. So I need to trim it down. Or I could do it this way. I sort of should have done that first. Well, I really wanted that one on the front. Could go like that and then glue that there. That would work. Well, I can, oh, yeah, I don't want the two. Okay, so I'm going to glue this on here. No, I want it this way. So I don't have the two big ones together. So what I need to do here is trim. You can see I haven't been crafting much, have I? A bit confused. Trim that off. I like it because you do them different every single time. Okay. So let's just put lots of glue on there. So that's like that and then we're going to attach this somehow I might attach it with a fabric strip oh I like that that one or what else do I have these were all ones that I did with you guys that I was playing around with that one. I could rip this bit off. I've got to take that bit off because it's a bit lumpy. I think I'll glue that there and then I'll have one on the outside. use my mushy glue because it gets lots on there so the Giotto glue stick is really it really does glue um, fabric really well as well as really well as well <laughs> so let's just put that about where I want it Okay, so that's attached. And then what I can do is, so I didn't want to cover that up, but I could have a piece here and here. Would that work? That's gonna stick. I could have, I don't think I want that one, do I?
No. Okay. It'll get there. Right. I wish I hadn't stuck that on straight away. That was my boo-boo. I could cover that. But I think I'm going to have little strips. So I'm going... I don't want to rip that one up. I like that one. Not that I don't like the other ones. I just want to use it for something else. I've got little bits here. I have a piece like that. Oh, I want a bigger piece. I know I'm being a fuss pot. I'm going to glue that there, or will I glue it that way? No. Okay. All right, that's that one. Cool. And then we need a little piece there. And I did have some smaller pieces. That's a bit stiff, that one. So I wouldn't choose that one. I could choose this one. Put some glue on there. Okay. How's the lighting? Oh, good. The lighting's good. I don't think I need my ring light. I would use it just if I were um, doing nighttime videos, really. And that needs to hop under there. Cool. Now that is not going anywhere. Okay. Good. So that's our base. And now we need to... Let me just grab a wet one. I've got glue all over my fingers. Okay. So we need to... Um, put that back up there. Just try to stay orderly. We need to sort of choose some pages to go inside. So I thought I might do some. Where's the other? What is that? Oh, that belongs with that. Okay. It's going to take me a minute to get used to my new space. Put my lid on there. Right. So I brought down some of my ephemera so I'm going to choose some of those and then I'll choose some digi to go in it as well I might hinge that no I might make that into a little tag that's a 1700s piece of paper we'll have a piece of this old diary Just going to pull out some random bits and pieces in the spirit of trying to use things. I love that. I want to do something with that. That's just from a, a book sleeve and it's from the 1900s. It's nothing special, but I just liked it. Pull out one of those. So this is just a whole lot of random stuff. There's some writing. We'll use some of that that I just threw in here when we were packing up. I kept finding things. Got that lovely piece. Okay. Those. And then over here, I know I have a whole lot of digitals that have been printed on both sides. Okay, so let's just start making little groups of that one I'll do for collaging. That one's all ripped. This one's all right. Oh, 
Oh, there's one of Steffi's lovely tags. Okay. Cool, that's already like that, so that's good. That needs to be hinged, that could be hinged, that can fold that way. It's already folded and that one I might fold that way and I'll hinge it to one of the things that I said I was going to hinge. And we'll grab some straw paper. I know I've got some flying around here somewhere. A small piece and a bigger piece. We have an abundance of that. Okay, so that's two sheets. Oh, I love doing this, putting these things together. So this one I'm already going to fold it that way because there's a tear there, um, but I can fix that. I fold it a bit like that and then fold that one in. This one I'll fold that way and I can hinge it. I might fold it like that and then I can make it narrower. So let's just gather our bit. This is a hinging bit. So this bit I'm going to attach there. That's perfect. So let's grab the glue. Perfect. Love it. So that's that one that's ready. That needs to be hinged. I'm just going to put my pages over there out of my way. Now I was going to hinge, there was something else. This one. I wonder which side I like the best. I could trim this down. I actually might fold it over and that can, oh no. Yeah, I might make that a little tuck and put a belly band there just so that whatever because it's only a little pocket um so it would be a little bit weak that's not straight okay so we can glue this oh, i've got to hinge it first and the way i'm going to hinge it is yeah that's good i'm going to Got a bit of sorry, I'm a bit all over the place. I've got a bit of glue there. You know the the you know the book glue, um, and it's very uh, scratchy and stiff and chunky. All right. So I need to get my wet glue because it's easier to control, and I need to put some glue down the edge here, and then just eyeball. I'll put my glue on here, and that's going to create. A little tuck but then I'll add a belly band because it's only a tiny tuck and whatever goes in there will fall out so that page is ready and then we'll choose some um, now this one I wanted to hinge that that's already good this one I might just tear this in half and I think I'll tear it just down this here and then this I'm just going to take off that extra bit there it was like the cover of something and this I'm going to fold over and hinge oh, it's about the same height so that's all right I don't think this is a particularly old document in the sense it's not like 1800s it's this century but I you know it's always nice to have a bit of handwriting. Okay, cool. So that's done. That's our book. So now let's choose some some pages. And um, or I can go. I think I'll go botanical, or I will do. I could do a mix. I don't think I'd do French chateau in this one. It's not reminding me of that. So I'll move the French chateau out of the way. <coughs> got the aircon on today it's going to be 36 degrees which is 
probably nearly 100 Fahrenheit, I think. So I do have it turned on today and it's, you know, the air's dry. So I probably could turn it off. It's, it's, Ste Stefano thinks it's hilarious. He's put it right above me. So it's blowing down on my neck. I'll probably get a stiff neck. <laughs> oh, and he thinks it's hilarious. He has a, has a giggle when he, when he talks to me, when he says, oh, I put that above your neck. I'm like, good one. Well, I'm not complaining. I'm happy about it. So um, this is going to be, I could trim that down a little bit, but I'm going to just eyeball and measure my pages like this. Oops, and that's very crooked, Rachel. That's too big. I'm purposely folding my birds in the front. I think that's going to be better, yes. And that's going to get rid of that little piece. That's going to tuck in there like so. And then I'll decide whether I'm going to put this in a sort of Midori style. I might put it in a Midori style sort of... Um, um, I think I'll put that one in. A Midori style sort of, uh, what do I want to say, um, hardcover. I might put it in a Midori style soft cover. I don't know. I'll decide. Now, some of them I might decide to take that bit off and they can become tags and others I will keep them. So that's good. I love that one. We're heading off to Tuscany today. We're going with our friend Mo, and um, I'm just going to have a nice weekend eating <laughs> in the heat. Oh, I love this. is like one of my favourite kits. I've got that. That someone did that. I want to get that framed. I don't know where I've put it. It's somewhere. Um, I want to get it framed. But you know, we've got all these nice new walls, so it's a little bit scary. Um, drilling holes so we might get our friend he's really good he put my shelves up here um and he's we might get him to come oh, i love this um and maybe i'll do it this way um we'll get him to come and and do the drilling because he's more confident if he's a bit nervous about it because it's all new That's from the church's kit. That was from our last Italian kit, those ones. And that's from a botanical kit. Let's see what else. I might not use those. Oh, I might use this one. I love her. Love her. I love all of those um, fabrics behind that too. That's San Gimignano. That's in San Gimignano there. So we'll put... I do her. Isn't that pretty? It's so pretty. So I'm really, di in this case, dividing them into thirds. Oh, isn't that gorgeous? Love it. We'll choose a couple more. I love Venice. That's Venice. I'm looking at ones that, like this one, would work better because I can do that. That's San Gimignano. We've got San Gimignano already, so we might as well have it again. Isn't that pretty? I've got that book. And yeah, the um, person that sold it to me said, oh, you can pull out all of the, um, you know, the illustrations and, and um, and you know, sell them individually. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, I couldn't do that. Oh, this is Fra Filippo Lippi. He's one, he was, um, Botticelli was also started off under him as well. You can see he had the lovely faces. But Botticelli also worked under... Um, Domenico Ghirlandaio, who was a really amazing fresco artist. But his main maestro was Fra Filippo Lippi. Love that. It's just all wonderful, really. I'm going to do this one that way. Just to have different... Yeah, you know, I don't want all my flip-outs on the same side. Now, I might have enough pages now, so we'll just see. And we can always add more. I think it's always good just to have a whole lot of stuff printed double-sided ready to go just in case you want to do flip outs or um, that sort of thing with a digital okay we probably don't have enough oh we need some old book page that's what we need now that'll be interesting let's see if we can find those and then next week when when I come back um, 
from my little trip will work on this. I did gather up all of my pages. I had them everywhere. I love this one. That one's always a good go-to. And let's see if I've got anything. I don't think they can't, don't come that narrow, the book pages. That's a nice, very old, raggy one. So I'll just wait and see with that one. We'll grab a couple of these if they're... Oh, they're not doing so well. Can't do those ones. That's why I don't... Well, no, sometimes I put them in kit in the page packs because sometimes they just have too much glue and they do rip. Let's see how this rag paper's going. I can get some of this. I mean, there's so much glue here. Obviously, in my opinion, not... I say in my opinion because I don't know, but... Um, I feel like it's been repaired multiple times over the, you know, decades. Oh, I feel so happy. <laughs> I haven't been able to get any. I'm meant to be unpacking boxes. Like Stefano's coming home and he's expecting all the boxes in the hallway to be unpacked. And that's just not happening. It's just not. Now, I know I've looked my um, paper up at you. So let me just tap it to make sure you're... On you know, you're not in on screen, but in focus. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, so I think we're going to do groupings. What would I like to see first? Let's have a look here. I think I might like this one. I'm going to do little groups of pages. Yeah, I like the look of that. Okay, I'm going to do little groupings of pages that are going to be stitched in between and what you know I haven't you know I've done lots of these but um, normally I have them and then I put my pages in the middle and I might stagger them because we've got different heights now normally I would divide all my pages um, but this time oh yeah what else maybe we need some we might need some botanical just a second um, let's grab this one. This is a lovely book. I haven't used it for a while. Yeah. And um, it's got lovely images. And I think I might try and pull out a few pages. I need little scissors. It's not like I have to travel far to get them. They're in the drawer here, all organized. So we have decided I have I have I have hoarded too much stuff so stay tuned in the future for me some of it will have been scanned um, but I will be de-stashing some of my hoard hoardy stuff I call it my hoardy stuff so um, yep it has to happen it, it breaks my heart but I can't I can't hang on to it all I've been hanging on to it um, I'm going to start putting more into I mean this books like you know I, I I don't use them because I hoard them. So we're going to have a few of these as well. So it's going to be kind of like a botanical, eclectic, Ita botanical Italian kit uh, journal, this one. Um, okay, let's see. That might be enough. Okay, so I'll have to decide how many are going in each. Thing. How many pages is what I didn't finish my sentence, did I? Maybe not too many because I think I've got multiple sections where I can put things. Now I want that up. I want that up. I want that up. So I can see the flowers and this one can come down. So before I stitch it in, I'll have to check that. Although... I guess that's all right. I could bring that one down so I can see a bit of the fabric. So let's bring that down like that. Still can't see the fabric there. We can just see the fabric peekabooing. Okay. And we need to have a writing page in here. And that, that will cover. Let's put this old one. 1870s these are normally. So that's going to go in there. Okay, so that's the first section, the first signature. 
I could add another digital, I might do that. In this section, I can do more. And I think I like, I'm feeling like I want to see that one. And we'll have some straw paper. And then, what else do we have here? We could have this one. Now, I know we're going wide. That's okay, we can fix that afterwards. This one, and we'll have another digital. I'll put that one in. Okay, and I could come back and add more. I just want to see. So in each section, I'm adding some pages. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, well, I think it is. You may beg to differ. So put that there. So let's have another. Let's see, because then we're going to be able to see these. So I like to see what would I like to see. I like those colours together. And I might put that one up. And we'll have this lovely script that looks nice together. I can mess around with the heights of them, I guess, afterwards. We can have a, a book page. We'll have another digital. We'll have some more writing paper. And I think I'll keep, I've got three digitals left, so we might put, oh, four. I'm going to add another one in the first one, I think. That, okay. So that's all going to stitch in there. And then I can do another one in here. I think this will work. So we'll have, I think I'd like to see that one. And then I'm going to keep that one out and add that in the first one. I've got this. Then I've got that. And that, which I love. Might be nice at the back. Oh no, that's okay. And then that. So you get a lot of pages here. And in here, in the first one, I need to add. I might put it in the center. So we don't have a plain center. There we go. Okay, so that is. The choice of pages and then the job is to stitch them in and what I might do is just poke my holes through the thing as I go and not even measure I'm not going to have them all measured because they're all going to be stitching at different heights so I'm just checking here the pages that's going to be great so that's going to go in there we'll have this one my next signature here. Great. And then my next signature. Oh, I love this. Here. And I might start at the back, stitching them in at the back. Okay. And then the last signature is here. Just double checking that I like everything. Okay. So let what I can do is just slide them out I put them down like that because I'm going to start from the back so that's my four three two and one and then I flip it over and that's my next one I have to stitch in so let's grab I have to move my garbage bin to open my drawer and put it under my chair oh it's not in that drawer it's in it's not in that drawer here it is, it's in this drawer. Still learning. I've got my nice, oopsie, sorry for the noise. I've got my nice tin here. I haven't pulled my chair in. I wish I, I do regret. I thought, Lulu's very clever. She got, um, now, next question. Where is my mat? Who knows where I put my mat? My poking hole mat. I don't know where I put it. Mm -hmm. Poking hole mat, please reveal yourself to me. I don't know where you are. Hmm. Didn't plunk it on top of something. I'm trapped. I'm trapped, trapped, trapped. Nope. Should be 
で。Um, I just turned the air conditioning off. I don't need it on anymore. Hmm. Well, I'll have to find that. That has disappeared. Okay, I don't know where I put it. I'll find it eventually. Eventually, it will reappear. So, what does that mean? Oh, there it is. It's on the bottom of the drawer. I thought I'm not silly enough to put it on the bottom of underneath things, but I am. Okay, so. I'm going to clip these together. That's good, yes, clip them together. Um, use these. I always keep some of these in the in the thing. I'm not going to use my all. My um sorry, not my all, my um screw punch I'm going to use the book all push that like that now let's get organized here. find my needle I think I put my needle I did I put my needle in the plastic thing so I could find it okay so I have to go here I'm just really eyeballing where my center is oh not too bad there. I don't want to come up too high, so I'll make sure I get it. And there. This will all be covered anyway, so I'm not worried. So I'm obviously doing it Midori style because I'm I'm stitching in my signatures now. There you go. There's a decision. And I think I'll just use this tan coloured one. Oh, there's those. I needed those the other day. I need to pull those out, put them in a drawer. I'm all tangled. What a mess. That needs a tidy up, doesn't it? Okay. Right. Needle. Oh, there you are. I wonder if I'm stitching them in the right way up. That's a good question. Oh my gosh, am I going to get these videos uploaded before we have to go? I think I might have my ties on the outside. So if you want your ties on the outside, you come up instead of going down. Oops. Now I can't find my center. Come on, reveal yourself to me. There we go. I don't cut my thread. You don't need to. It's a little bit more fiddly doing it that way because you've got to get in there. There we go. Pull that tight. Oh, I didn't check if I was doing it up the right way. I am, I think, yes. And that needs to go there and then we can tie it and first signature in so far so good pull it tight okay Let's see how we go. We may it may not work. It may it may work. Okay, so that's that one. In one is in. And this one. This is my next one. Is that correct? Yes. So center it. We might clip it all together. Clip it to that. It stays and I'm, I'm pushing it into the center in here and then I'm holding these up when I put my holes in and that way it's I'm just sort of making it up where I'm putting my holes where's that one make it a bit bigger and there am I on screen just I need to move forward it's just because i hold it towards myself because it's easier oh i didn't do a very good job cutting that okay and where are my holes where did they go there okay i can see it 
and it's not in the same place as the other one which is good because I don't want them to sort of go through each other if you know what I mean and that one yes okay oh they did no that one no where's that one there it's a bit higher I mean you just make it up guys I don't think there's going to be any binding police out there to get us. I couldn't see my other thread. It's here, it's tucked away in there. Okay. It's a bit ambitious putting in um, four, but we'll see what happens. I might try and poke my holes in different areas because as I said you won't be looking at this and I might even glue some fabric over it you never know you never know what might ever ha might happen I changed my mind in a flash okay so those pages are in they're not going anywhere yep good now here and here we've got to stitch these pages They find the centre, clip them to the envelope on one end and the envelope on the other end. Where is it? Here. Squish it down. A bit of a squishy squish. And let's see how we go with this one. It's happening. It's all happening. And what am I? Oh, I've got, I've got a lot of space there. So I'm going to try and put this one yeah let's see what happens oh a totally different spot good good totally different spot that's what i want to the previous holes because otherwise um well i don't know what would happen if they went through can always in the other holes i don't know can't tell you that Where is it? I can see it there. Okay. Oh, so much fun. I love doing random things. We've had this discussion before. Random things are the best. And make it up as you go. I'm trying to find my hole. Okay, we just have to do a little bit of a poke here. Um, oh, I'll use this. Okay, and then after this, we'll flip through just to double check. And then I have to look like I've done something today. I did spend 50 minutes at the post office today, not because I was waiting in line, but because whenever I go the computer crashes and so just total thing and then the, and then the lady I mean she's lovely the lady that served me but she is a slow like she's she's quite fast at doing the putting all the information in but she's just she's just one of those people that just gets up every five seconds and but she I mean she's super super nice um and quite you know she's good at doing the job it's just that she takes her time but when she sits, settles and does it, she's fast. I just wish she'd settle and do the job is the thing. But there was no line today. They were all at the Friday market in town. I don't hardly ever go to the Friday market, especially now. It's too hot. Um, and I want that to peekaboo over the top. But I think I should slide a few down there, even though I'm covering the fabric. Um, yeah, the, I never go to the Friday market in Santa Cangelo, but, um, you know, it's all, you get fruit and vegetables, and I just can't stand the crowd, that's what it is, and it's too hot now, it's really hot, so anyway, I said to them, there's not, not, not a line today, and they said, oh, they're all at the market, they'll, they'll be here soon, the people will be here soon, so it was good, except that it took 50 minutes, poking my hole, 
there. Okay, good. Ooh, that's fairly centered in that one. And there. It's great because I haven't gone through, I'm kind of pleased I haven't gone through the same holes ever. So I know that it's staying strong. You know, when I first started making, you know, I taught myself. I, I really have always been a fabric. You know, I used to sew bags and pouches and, make, as you know, make growth charts and that sort of stuff. Um, and, um, and so I never really did paper crafting. It was really, like, for me, it was, like, daunting. I didn't think that I was able to do paper. And, um, and my sister was always good at it. She always, you know, she showed it one long time ago, one of her school diary she was always good at that sort of stuff and it wasn't really for me so um it might have been neater had i decided to do my ties on the inside but you live and learn anyway um i forgot what i was going to say oh yeah when i first started i i th always thought i had to follow the rules and i need i was and you know when i sold my first journals i thought oh oh i was so nervous about it because you know, I had really made taught myself and kind of made it up and, and just watch videos and try figured it out how to do it. And I thought, oh, they're not they're you know, they're not they're not Nick the Booksmith bindings and um and you know, and I was in awe of Wendy and and everyone and <laughs> I still am in awe of Wendy, um and Nick the Booksmith. But I just decided I'm never gonna be perfect. And so I'll just have to do it my way <laughs> because otherwise it would take the joy out of it for me. Okay, so this is, I love this. It feels wonderful. It was a bit of a struggle wuggle to get there, but um, we're there. And this beautiful fragile envelope, really fragile. I'll just put some old letter in there or something. But now look at this. We've got this wonderful base to work on. I love it love 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 it so I'll have to think of some sort of cover I don't know I'll probably I've got lots of um, book covers so um, I'll do that love the bit of fabric hinging in there cool I put that cue upside down in the kit did anybody notice I'm sure you did you're more onto it than I am. I mean, that's not centered or anything like that, but that doesn't worry me. So there we go. Oh, that no, that was folded like that. Someone had folded it like that. I didn't fold it like that. I did fold that. I love that. So we've got to work on the envelopes and put pockets. All kinds of fun things can happen in here. Decide on a cover love that the texture on that paper is wonderful there we go so the start of a new envelope journal love that. that's sticky it's got sticky tape there so i'll have to put something else and it's nice and chunky lots of pages it worked i was able to stitch in the signatures it's very secure super fun and i can't wait to come back from the weekend and work on it so, um, oh, and I'll do some Junk Journal July as well. I need to do that too. So, okay, I'm going to go and finish unpacking some more boxes if I can. It's a daunting process. Um, and find more cubby holes for them. And thank you so much for watching and have a great weekend. And I will see you again on Monday. Bye.